Creo Direct 2.0 delivers significant enhancements in four key areas. Design in the assembly context, improved geometry creation and modification, improved round tripping between Creo Direct and Creo Parametric, and better change tracking with Creo Parametric. Let me start with new capabilities around the concept of designing in the assembly context. We've introduced very flexible and advanced workflows and methods allowing you to quickly select components or geometry in the assembly context and then use the live toolbar to quickly access the applicable tools. The positioning tool for inserting and placing components now allows using on-the-fly positioning constraints, dynamic positioning with a 3D dragger or a combination of both. You can now create geometry in an assembly using extrude, revolve and sweep tools acting on one or several selected coplanar sketched regions of an active part. Using keyboard shortcuts, you can snap to any other geometry in the assembly. The move operation is now accessible from within the assembly environment. You can move selected faces of a single or multiple parts in a single step. And Creo Direct adds a highlight leverage from Creo Elements Direct. The combination of geometric modifications with part and assembly positioning. Watch how you can simply box select a group of parts, assemblies and individual surfaces together and perform a geometric move of those surfaces while the selected parts and sub-assemblies are implicitly repositioned instead of being geometrically moved. We also enhanced geometry creation and modification workflows. For example, you can now more easily refine your selection while working with a geometry tool, dynamically preview sketch planes when you place them and explore alternative geometric solutions when moving 3D geometry. This gives you more flexibility and control over the resulting geometric change. Creo's AnyMode modeling technology ensures design intent is always preserved and protected even when changing modeling approaches. With Creo Direct 2.0 and Creo Parametric, we've improved round tripping of assemblies by supporting the loading of assemblies that contain family tables, external references or interfaces, assembly cuts or user-defined simplified representations into Creo Direct. This release also introduces better change tracking with Creo Parametric. The View Changes dialog box in Creo Parametric helps to review modifications made in Creo Direct, accept or reject each individual modification, and to preview and inspect the model, the modified model. To summarize, Creo Direct 2.0 adds flexibility and intuitiveness for designing in the context of an assembly, new direct modeling capabilities, and full interoperability with Creo Parametric. For more information about Creo, please visit the PTC product pages on ptc.com.